Got a little fraction action for you. And here's the scenario. What are we gonna try to do? We're gonna try to add fractions. But first I want to address what I mean to common denominator. All right, so commonplace, what happens? You have some friends over. Perhaps you're talking about math, right? And you guys order pizza. Mm-hmm, yeah, um. And you set a friend, they don't necessarily want the same thing. One of them wants, um, I don't know, pepperoni. And the other one wants, um, I don't know, blueberries. Who knows, right? Um, but what inevitably happens at the end of the night? Right, at the end of the night, um, there's leftover pizza. What do you do? You put it in the same box. Uh-huh, right. And then you put that box in the fridge instead of putting all the boxes in the fridge, right? Right. Yeah, well, um, here you have finicky friends. They only wanted two pieces each. Right, two people wanted red pizza and three people wanted blue pizza. So you ask the place, hey, can you cut it into fourths and can you cut it into sixths? That way everybody could have two. Yeah, all right. Yeah, well, um, inevitably, somebody didn't eat all their pizza. Yeah, right. And there's a sixth of a pizza left over? Yeah, right. Um, because the people who wanted two, 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 they ate theirs, but this person had one piece left over. Right. Oh no! <laughs> and with the other case. Yeah, the case where they wanted blue pizza. Right. With this blue pizza, um, this person ate their two pieces, right? I, I realize that the pieces are bigger and that they were eating more, right? But they were finicky. Okay, whatever. Um, yeah, these pe this person ate their two pieces, but this person didn't. Mm, wasting pizza, right? So you put them all in the same box. Yeah, this box, great. So that you have your red piece and your blue piece. And then your friend asks, hey, wait a minute, um, I'm coming over. Do you have any leftover pizza? And you're like, yeah, we got some red and some blue. He's like, but what fraction do you really have? And I'm like, uh, I don't know, a little less than half. He's like, well, that's not gonna do. I want the exact fraction. So what do you have to do? You have to cut them into the same size pieces. And that cutting them into the same size pieces, that's the action of getting a common denominator. And that's what we have here. Here what we had to do is we had to cut the red piece into two and the blue piece into three. Why? Because we needed 12s. Right? We had to have our pizza not cut into fours, not cut into six, six, right? We need to have it cut into twelves. Yeah, so then we go and we add them. We have one, two, three, four, five, twelves. Okay, that's enough to get to some examples. Here we go with some examples. Our first example, we don't need a common denominator because we already have one. If I got a common denominator, what do I do to the numerators? Add them. Yes. So this is one plus one over three. Tee hee. And here we see we have two thirds. Yeah. A box. And a flower. Down here, man. I can't add those fractions the way they are. Nah, see? What do I need? I need a common denominator. Yes. And what would a common denominator be if you had one? Yeah, CDs, it would be six. Very nice. So I need to go and I need to multiply three by something. What am I gonna multiply three by to get six? Mm-hmm. For sure, for sure. Two. So I need to multiply by two over two. Yes, or the magic one. If I can multiply once, then I can multiply twice. Is that what 50 Cent was talking about, multiplication? I think he was. Okay, now I'm, now I'm over here. What do I multiply two by to get six? Yes, I multiply it by three. Tee hee, tee hee. But wait, there's more. Knock knock, who's there? How do you multiply fractions? Straight across. Two times one is two, divided by. Two times three is six. Very nice, the desired effect. I didn't want to change a dang thing. I just wanted to write an equivalent fraction with six in the denominator. Yes. Knock knock, who's there? How do you multiply these fractions? Straight across. One times three is three. Tee hee, tee hee. Two times three is six. Very nice. Now that I got a common denominator, what can I do to their numerators? Add them. Well, in this case, I'm gonna subtract. I'm gonna take two minus three and divide it by six. Very nice. Oh, wait. What is that two minus that three? One. Uh -huh. 
Yeah, positive or negative. It's gonna be a minus one over six. And then what? Yeah! A box. And a flower. But what if we have an example where there isn't just a one in the numerator? That's what brings us to our next example. Now I'm up here. I'm looking at these guys. Oh no! What are you gonna do? Can I add those two fractions the way they are? Nah, see? What do I need? I need a common denominator. What would a common denominator be between 5 and 4 be? Yeah, see these? My common denominator is 20. Okay, so now I need to go and find the magic ones. Yes. What am I gonna multiply 5 by to get 20? 4, sure. Okay, so that's 4 over 4. And it's all knock knock, who's there? I'm gonna go ahead and get the common denominator over here. Um, what do I multiply four by to get 20? Five, yes. Okay, now it's all. Knock, knock, who's there? How do you? Straight across. Four times two is eight, great. Divided by 20, the desired effect. Oh, over here, three times five, that's 15. Divided by 20. Okay. I got a common denominator. What can I do to their numerators? Adam. You, there has to be somebody out there named Adam. Okay, yes. I'm gonna take 15 and eight. That'd be great. What is that? Is that 20? Wait for it. Wait for it. 23. Tee hee. Tee hee. Uh-huh. Um, uh, over 20. Yeah, we're fine. Uh-huh. Okay. Now you can leave it like that, but some people would say that's improper. Right. Oh, you can make it a mixed number. One and three twentieths. Yes. I should probably make mention. Mixed numbers. These are a whole part and a part apart. What this really is, is this is one and one fourth. So the guitar method, when you're all you know, this one times that one plus this one over that one. What you're really doing is you're adding fractions by getting a common denominator. I make this one a one, or one over one. Right. Ooh, what would a common denominator be if you had one? See these? It'd be four, sure. So what am I gonna multiply one by to get four? Four over four, or the magic one. <clears throat> and here, if you feel the need, go ahead and put one over one. Yeah, that's fun. So then this is four over four, plus one over four. And then you add their numerators. This is four plus one over four. And that's how you get this one times that one. This one times that one plus this one over that one. The guitar method. And then you finish. Five fourths.